Hey YouTube, uh, I got a brand new camera. It's a replacement for the GoPro I was originally using for all my YouTube videos. This one has an LCD screen, so I no longer have to guess where I'm pointing. Also has a crap load of options. It's a DB something something. I eventually plan on doing a review of it, but that is not here or there. Today I will be showing you something I've been working on for my computer. No, not this one. I'm just getting some uh, things set up. So, people know that there's now RGB RAM out there. RGB stands for red, green, blue. These uh, memory sticks are normally expensive as hell. People like you and me, we cannot afford to pay for that kind of nice looking RAM. So I thought I'd show you something I came across on Amazon. I will show a link in the description as well as uh, on the video after I get all this done. But anyways, this uh, kit right here is called up here. You have to buy them one at a time. I bought four. Uh, they will fit on any kind of them that would fit a normal computer. But as you can see, it's brushed aluminum. It ha comes with what you need to help cool the memory modules, but it also has an RGB strip up top. These are about $15 per piece, uh, and as you can see, they fit pretty much perfect. This is a stick of DDR3 g scale memory. These are not sticky, these are just basically thermal pads, and they actually hold in there pretty good once you get it bolted down comes with one of these each one strip of these oh, wait this which I have no ideas for because these don't come with instructions and a little L tool which I've already lost again so I got only two left um I will post the the second part of this on this one video where I'll show you how it looks after it's done it's powered up by a fan header so technically I guess if you were to buy a controller, you could control how it would look. Uh, I'll see y'all in a bit. So, here's one of the memory modules out of my uh, computer. And I'll be turning it into RGB. I'm not going to take this one off. I did it to the other one because I thought it would be, you know, double-sided adhesive tape or something they sent with these heat sinks. But it wasn't. Like I said, these are up here heat sink modules for memory. And I swear, the moment I hear laptop memory get RGB variants is the moment I just say I'm done with this shit. But, uh, it's NC 1 aluminum, brush aluminum heat sink. Uh, like I said, it is RGB. Uh, let's see. Comes with a spare screw, as well as two spare little tab things. I'll show you what those are for. You open it up by taking these two screws out. Here's one. And then here's the second one. While I'm at this, I'll show you how these work. Oh. Take that off, and then I'll take this top piece off here. As you can see, the RGB strip is in here. It is not controllable from what I can tell. Um, well, it might be. It depends on if I can find software for it or not. In which case, I'd have to buy an add-on card for my computer. But, as you can see, it would pop right out. If you don't want it in there, you can just put it back together without this in here. 
Um, looks like it has one, two, three, four, twelve LEDs on here. And I do not see any kind of memory controller. Well, not memory controller, but uh, any type of controller whatsoever on here. Looks like just a regular old PCB board with, uh, looks like resistors and the RGB lights. Go ahead and put this back in here. Now let's see, it goes in here like this. So Okay, and then lay the second strip on here. Like I said, it's not conductive, well, electrically conductive. And it's just basically a thermal pad. Line this back up on here. Just tighten it down after I get this other one in, in case it's not perfectly lined up with the hole. Two down, two to go. One way you can tell you got the spoolie on here right is that everything's lined up. And that if you look in here, you can see that it's flush against the RGB uh, plate. But, like I said, uh, two done, two to go. I prefer the brand G skill. Uh, I've had almost no issues out of them. They work perfect on my rig. I can overclock them. Now that I have these on here, I could probably go further than what I did. These are 1333s. I have them overclocked to 1600. I know that's considered slow these days, but this is DDR3 modules. I'm running them on an original i7-860, which is also overclocked to 4 gigahertz right now. Uh, I eventually plan on trying to push it further once I go custom water cooling on it. Now that you've seen this, I'm going to stop the camera, and then I'll show you the everything after it's done. See y'all later. And here is the memory fully installed. Hope this camera can catch it. Hey, nice focus. But yeah, it's RGB memory. Uh, oh. It, you asked me, it looks pretty nice in here. This is the full computer. Um, I would turn around, but I got it plugged in and running right now. What is camera small? But, uh, Inside here is my EVGA 500 watt power supply, non-modular. Um, I have four drives total hooked up because in this case I only have enough of four slots. You can buy add-ons to hook up more, but I'm not worrying about that right now. I have two 3 terabyte hard drives in here. Yes, I know, I'm a fan of 3 terabytes, yada yada yada. Two silicon power SSDs in here. Running nice and cool. <clears throat> uh... My RGB memory. I have a Corsair H50 or H60, I can't remember which. And here's a EVGA 1050 Ti SC using 
the Accelero Twin Turbo 3 cooler on it. The reason I got this and not a smaller one, because it's not technically needed on here, is because it comes with this back plate, which will help with any sagging. Um, that's the only add-on card I have on here. This one is a 480GB SSD. A two Ow. Be careful not to touch the fans. Oi. Anyways, this is a 240 gigabyte. This is my boot drive. This is where I store my games. And this is just for normal storage. Whenever I, uh, I have uh, this partition, 100 gigabyte of it is for whenever I do video editing. This way I can move files fast. And then I'm pretty sure y'all have seen my storage server. Uh, these four bays will be dedicated for my YouTube channel. For a grand total of eventually 40 terabytes in this one dry bay. I have an LSI RAID card running this one. It is capable of running both these drives. And yes, oh, pull it up here. I do have a cable for it. But I don't have it hooked up right now because I don't feel like reassigning drive letters and all that. Um, technically, the amount of SATA ports I have on here, I can have up to about the 17 hard drives in here. But, hey... That would mean I need a bigger case, and I don't want to upgrade, because I like this case. This is my PFSense server. Uh, I also have a second hard drive in there for OpenSense for testing purposes. I eventually plan on going OpenSense on that. And this is Gala server, y'all know about that. But anyways, this is where I store all my YouTube videos, upload files, and all that after I'm done. This is my gaming computer where I edit and all that. Edit, game, uh, record hope that didn't blind anyone too much, but as you can see, I have RGB. But if you notice, those ain't properly synced. If, whenever I press green, those light up green properly, but these don't, which means the blue and the green are mixed up on this strand. So, what I'm going to be doing is taking one of these, which I have a lot of these laying around, and swap the pins around. Uh, not the most elegant solution, but it'll work. Um, this is a tempered side glass case. It also has a tempered glass up front. I have all those off right now. Just because this is not completely in its final configuration yet. Mainly being that I eventually plan on moving this down through this way. So I can mount a 360 rad on here. And have a custom water cooling loop installed on this computer. Technically, it would be overkill because this is just a first generation i7. But I want to see how far I can push it. Just with this alone, I got it going at 4 gigahertz. But this video is more about the memory. But yeah, I eventually plan on uh, trying to overclock this further. One of the reasons I bought these things, but I'm like, hey, everyone's in the RGB RAM these days. Might as well make a video on it and see how much it'll cost to do a setup of my own. Um, but yeah, I am now going to stop this video, offload files, and then hopefully edit it for next week. <clears throat> hey, y'all. Uh, thank you for tuning in to another video from Eternals Information Technology Group. Uh... I just went out on a lark and bought the memory stick modules for, not memory stick modules, the heat sink assemblies for them. This video was because I wanted to see what I could do to make my own RGB RAM because not everyone has two $300 laying around. Um, and I'm running DDR3. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you dislike it, I ask that you tell me what you disliked about it, what I can do better next time. Um, let's see, what else? If you like my video, press like, and please subscribe to my channel. I am slowly getting things up and running in a way that I am going back to posting once a week. Uh, I hope you're also enjoying my car videos. I now have my own car that I like. And, yeah, that's about it. So, I will see y'all on the next video. Later.